Now you can have your cake and eat it too. Can I get a oh yeah? Oh yeah! It's 1983's Baby Cakes. <laughs> All right, we have another Bob Chin 35 millimeter masterpiece. No writing credit. So let me tell you what you're fixing to watch. Three friends. One of them's a cyclist. Bicycle, not motorcycle. And she just won a local race, which gives her the confidence to join the Grand Prix. Now, the girls, they have two weeks until their summer job starts. Road trip. Hey, shut up, idiot. Road trip on 10 speeds. They're gonna go 500 miles from San Fran to LA to support their one friend. And that's it, in a nutshell. Some trials and tribulations along the way. This picture was 80 minutes long. Ours is 24. That's a big chunk of narrative storytelling for no writing credit. This was triple X. We got it down to PG, drinking, smoking, Billy D in a thong. So as we all know, the golden age of adult films, the chic years, lasted 15 years, 1969 to 1984. So we're still in the golden era. Bob Chin made a lot of good movies, tons of good movies, not just the couple we've done and not one that, uh, oh, I found our suggested list, not our request list. I guess it's like second tier, our suggested list. And one of y'all thought we should do hard soap, hard soap. And I agree. That's by Bob Chin. We've already done body girls and hot saucy pizza girls 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 he changed the game back in the day with the johnny wad series he was good friends with john holmes kind of serialized the adult world i talked a lot about bob on hot saucy pizza girls he's a writer director actor author he even made that 1976 panama red a pg drug smuggling movie have you seen it john holmes has a cameo in it okay before we go to the film let me just tell you we're going to have a little bit of trouble with the end. We'll just, we'll go over it. We'll go over it. Let's take this road trip. A lot of good actors to talk about. I will meet you at the end. I love my pretty baby kids. I tell you she's got what it takes. She goes right in mile by mile. And you can feel a magic smile as she goes. Style. I love my pretty baby kids. I tell you, she's got what it takes. Come on, boys. I'm going. Hey, Susie, when did you say your parents would be home tonight? Granddad told you at least five times they left for Sausalito over the weekend. Oh, yeah. They'll be gone until Monday. <gasps> Woo! Party! Yeah, <laughs> all right. Hey, hey, hey. You're not going to sleep with that bike again tonight, are you? The Bay Area 200 race is tomorrow. I've got to give my bike a once-over. You know, you are one crazy chuck. Come on, Denise. Let's take our man upstairs. I'll be in the garage if you need me. Hey, have a good time. Thanks, Susie girl. You're the best. Oh, she's better than the best. Hey, we're best buddies, are we? Yeah. yeah. <laughs>
I won it. Look at this trophy. You should have been there. I... Oh, my God, Denise, quick. Am I alive or dead? Do you feel dead? Yeah. Then you're alive. Hey, Susie, do me a favor. Run over to the bathroom for me and throw up. No enthusiasm. Susie, remind me to give you a raise. When do our summer jobs at the wharf start? Uh, I don't know. In two weeks. That's not much of a summer vacation. You're telling me, serving slop to those sloppy tourists? Oh, God. You could meet some real nice people. How would you two like to go to L.A.? And what car and whose money? We'll ride down on my bikes and stay at my aunt's house. It'll be great. You want to ride 500 miles just to spend a couple days with your aunt? You want to ride down the entire state just to enter some race? Chick, your It's not just some race. This is the race. I wasn't going to go because I didn't think I was good enough. But I beat the best in the Northwest today. I have to ride in the Grand Prix. What's so great about this race? Read it. The best in the U.S. I finally get a chance to race against the best and find out just how good I really am. It's a chance of a lifetime. Hey, you guys know me better than anyone. You know I wouldn't ask you to do anything unless it meant the world to me. Well, she's right. I don't know. We'll have a ball. We'll take the coast route. Look out, L.A. Here we come. He's got to be sensitive, smart. First of all, he's got to be taller than me. Then he's got to have blonde hair, preferably curly. He's got to have a good body, not super muscular or anything, but strong and firm. Oh yeah, priority one. He's got to have big, beautiful blue eyes. Is that all? Well, he's also got to be a little shy. Man, wasn't that great out there today? You gonna make it? <laughs> God, I wonder what happened to Charlie, you know? Oh, hey, watch out for the rocks here. I wonder what happened to Charlie. I can't believe you slept through the whole day. Well, I need a shower now, too. Well, why don't you go ask her when she's gonna be finished? How many times she doesn't speak English? Well, then talk made talk to her. <laughs> <laughs> 
Cute, real cute. Oh, what a day, huh? My legs are ready to mutiny. Mine have already been stuck. I know, I know. We'll stop at the next motel. I'm almost positive there's one near here. Oh, about time. I'll say. Oh, uh, talk about paradise. Yeah, man. Well, that's all it is, is talk. Because you and I will never see it in our lifetime. Yeah, I guess you're right, buddy. There it is, girls. What a sight for oh. sore eyes. Oh, sore eyes, sore legs, sore back. We could die, man, or something. You know, in the next... Five minutes, you know? Poof, all gone. <sighs> well, do you see what I see? Two surfers made to order. This is going to be too easy. Let's go. Hi guys, mind if we join you? I'm Ron and this is Denise. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, maybe we should look again. Uh, touch him this time. Yeah. Hey, hey! Ouch! Be careful. Mine's real. How about yours? Same here. Uh, maybe they got the wrong guys. Could be. Are you ladies sure you have the right address? These guys are really out of it. I thought this be too easy. Can I offer you two ladies a beer? Why not? That's it, girls. Play hard to get. Right. Hey, Ron. Now try ooh on the left. <laughs> hey, Susan, I want you to meet, um, what were your names again? I'm Mark. You know, I'm Mark. <laughs> He's Mark. I'm Steve. I'm Steve. Susie, aren't they cute? Charming. Randy, you've really outdone yourself this time. Hey, Steve! Mark! Boy. Come on over, meet our new friends. <laughs> Thought you'd never get finished. <laughs> What's going on? Hey girls, uh, meet Charlie. <laughs> Susie, <laughs> meet Charlie. Just to meet you, Susie. Hi. You tired for a walk on the beach? Well. Would you believe a short walk on the beach. Okay, a short walk. Can I hold your hand? If you want to. I do. Oh, look at that shell. black shells around here anymore, you know? No, you certainly don't. Well, these beaches, you know, just change so much. You really don't know what to expect. It really makes it exciting. You know, the way you talk about that L.A. race seems like a matter of life or death to you. <laughs> Do I make it seem like that? I kind of get carried away sometimes. Rhonda says I'm crazy. <laughs> it's all right. Actually, it's kind of good that you have something in your life that you can feel that strongly about. You know, I, uh... Can we just sit and listen to the ocean for a while? Sure. I'd like that. Walk on it and sit. Shut up here. Susie, you know, I really had a nice time today just talking to you and all. So did I. Well then, I guess I'll see you later. When? 
Where are you headed? Well, our next stop is Sandcastle Point. It's about 75 miles from here. Well, if it's all right with the girls, we could meet you there tomorrow night. Hey, great, because uh, well, I'd really like to get to know you better. Me too. I mean, I'd like to get to know you better too. Well, I'll see you at Sandcastle Point. Okay. Bye. Bye. It's about 75 miles from here. So let's get moving. Susie, something I gotta say to you. You know, the first time I saw you, I, I knew there was something about you. No, I'm serious. You did something to me that nobody's ever done before. Kinda got the feeling that you felt the same way. Sort of like we're both plugged into the same outlet. I mean, I like you and all that. But I could help. 
The only way I relax is when I'm riding my bike. Do you understand? Well, it's hard. I think you should find someone else. I'm not worth the time. Okay. That's the way you feel. That's why I like to put in that water, because people always cow bung in. Can I talk to you for a second? Sure. Alone? Oh, yeah, I get the hint. Uh, sure, help yourself, lover boy. Just uh, keep your hands off my squeeze, you know? I don't know what to do about Susie. What's wrong? Hey, kid, how you doing? Oh, Rhonda. Charlie's the best. You know, you don't meet a guy like Charlie every day. I can't. Imagine I'm Charlie. <laughs> What are they doing? Well, they found some little surfer boys. I'm in here with you. Some people have all the luck. like to talk. You know, back uh, when I was in Vietnam, I oh. once met a girl who was, who was a nurse. Oh, and I suppose I'm just like she was. Yeah, she reminded me of her. <sighs> Tell me another story. Where are they? I can't let anything happen to them. This whole trip was my idea. Don't worry, we'll find them. Stop, stop! Over by the point, the motorhome. Thank God, let's get them quick. Come on. No. Hey, guys. No. 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 No
Choose my baby cakes. Gotta love an original song. I used to think that was rare, but now we're getting, I think, well, I feel like we're getting an original song like 35, 40% of the time, which I guess isn't a lot, but it's a lot. I thought it was such a rarity. Rhonda, Susie, Denise, who did you like the most? I liked Susie. She got second billing, but I felt like she was the lead. Jamie Lee played Susie only film she ever did in her entire life baby cakes Rhonda joe petty got top billing playing Rhonda. she's had a pretty cool career man she was in auditions the 1978 charles band he didn't direct it but he wrote and produced it and it was um wizard which turned into full moon i had no idea i've seen auditions early linnea quigley now I'm gonna have to rewatch it looking for Rhonda Joe Petty. She's also in. Hey, where are the white women at? A movie we have coming up. It might be tomorrow. I have two about 50% done. I don't know which direction I'm gonna go in. But I can tell you one thing Stacey Donovan is in Sunday's release. Do you know why? Stacey Donovan's in both the 50 percenters. So if you can figure out a uh, Rhonda Joe Petty, Stacey Donovan joint, then you know what one of the options are. Victoria Slick played Denise. She's almost in a release from tomorrow. Taboo 7. I keep putting it on the back burner. It is so hard to edit. Taboo 7 is not coming out tomorrow. And I said it was coming out two weeks ago. I'm doing my best over here. I'm the one man army, it's on. I'm the one man army, a song. So coincidentally, they meet up with three guys that almost have matching personality types. Mark, Steve, Charlie. Mark is Blair Harris. We saw him in Taste of Money and Pretty Peaches. He's also in Hard Soap, Hard Soap. And then we have Steve and Charlie. Randy West and Billy D. Didn't we just see them three days ago taking care of Biznatch? with the mob i talked about billy d and randy west so much last week they were in debbie for hire which ended the debbie does dishes series and they were mobsters billy d was the hitman randy west was the top of the food chain now along the way they meet two dgens rock steady and mike horner mike horner does a good job playing a bad guy usually the the funny guy now we've seen him break bad before but i can't think of what it was but i specifically remember saying he's always the funny guy it's cool to see him so if anyone can help me with that either way they're both the bad guys the menaces the dgens as i called them they're up to no good driving their rv misty reagan from inside desiree cousteau has a cool cameo as the maid okay our ending is pretty wild it made a lot more sense when there wasn't an outro of me talking because i used barefoot's uh title card to cover up some obscenities and then we went into a blurred credit sequence i wish i could show you the end it's pretty cool but not for a pg movie the bad guys take denise and Rhonda. So our good cavalry, in getting them back, they tie up the bad guys and call their wives with no clothes on. And so I can't, I can only show you a portion of the frame, but there's a lot of dialogue. So you're hearing the ending conclusion while you're looking at 50% of the screen. Hey, I liked this movie. In some cases, if I didn't like the movie and I was stuck with an end like that, an extremely wonky end like that, I would have just said, pass. But being that I liked this, I figured I'd just make it work. I hope you were okay with that. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Do you want something from me? Just ask. You want me to be on your podcast? You want me to do a DVD commentary? You want an interview? Do you have content brain and you can't and you need to 
fill some holes in your schedule, plop me in. We'll discuss this series. We'll get other people to join our family. And then we'll tell those people within the family, don't subscribe, don't like, don't share, just watch. I like that mantra. So I want more people within that mantra. You know what I'm saying? I'll see you tomorrow.